What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You'd do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. Simon, I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Catherine? Catherine? 
Hello, Catherine. What happened? It's not much, but why are we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. Think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes, but generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. Closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following your own footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Okay, right, let's head for town and find that art.
Sir Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. Thank you. 
Did you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tau? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Theta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. Instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tau, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in.
happier to be inside. Now let's find the Ark. think you're dead down here. Some failed evac story circulating at Omicron. Oh, God. Listen, son. We're on an important mission, and we need your help to operate the Omega space gun. When it's done, we can all head back up the plateau. But now we need to get moving? Of course. Head on through to the habitat. We shut off the front section to preserve power. All right. See you soon.
You're different. <laughs> nice suit. Used to have one just like it. Are you human? Sarah Lindwall. Payload technician at your service. A rare sight, am I right? I'd say so. You're the first normal living human I've seen. There's not many left down here. Most of them are up on the plateau. You mean at Omicron? Yeah. There's no one alive at Omicron. You've been there? I've been all over. The power plant at Upsilon. The ruins of Lambda. The abandoned Delta, Theta. You've been to Theta? There's not a lot left of Pathos too. And, uh... I'm the only living person you've met. <coughs> you mean I'm the last living human on the planet? I'm sorry. Who are you again? Simon Jarrett. Stationed at? Nowhere. I, I used to work in a bookshop in Toronto. Long story. Then what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to find the Ark. Why would you? How do you know about that? I've heard it's the last hope for mankind. Damn right it is. Now, what do you want with it? Take it to the gun and Phi! Launch it into space! That was the plan, all right. I've been guarding it ever since we brought it back to Tau. I just couldn't bring myself to let go. To tell you the truth, I don't have the strength to argue. And I certainly don't have the time to wait for the next sentient thing shuffling through here. Go ahead. Take it. Thank you. Can I get you anything? Do anything for you? You could kill me. Good one. You serious about me killing you? No, I'd love to hang around here until I dry up to the size of a raisin. Simon, this Fucking sucks. <coughs> I don't want to live like this. Shouldn't we be doing something to keep you alive? Why? You're the last human. I, I just find it disrespectful to our entire history not to fight this. Sure, we have the Ark, but you're the real deal. Thanks. That's probably the best compliment I've ever got. But the truth is that the Ark is all we have. We'll have to accept second best, you know? None of this feels right. Son, I want to die. Sarah. Just think about it. Okay. Be careful. Don't let me down. Go ahead. Go save humanity. What's left of it. If I knew you'd come, I would have cleaned this place up a little bit. I'm glad you came by. Good to get this over with. Don't let me down. <laughs> Would you stay with me, please? It won't be long now. Just... Please, just stay. What a crazy thing this was. Life. At least I won't have to turn 30. Hooray! <laughs> I wish I could have died at home with my friends. You ever been to Greenland? It's very beautiful. Well, at least when you get out of the city. Nanok is busy, and yes, there's like 12 million people trying to get around, but it's a great place. Or rather, it was a great place. 
before the comet ended at all. You know what? I prefer it this way. I liked Pathos, liked my colleagues, Ian, Nick, Jasper, even Catherine. People thought she was weird because she was quiet, but she was cool. Simon, you still there? I'm here, Sarah. Don't let him die, okay? Send them out there. To the stars. Black box is inactive. Probably found a way to switch it off. 